They say anything worth doing is worth doing badly at first until you learn to do it well. And with that in mind, here's my first YouTube video for Top Down Charts. So I've just created this new YouTube channel and I just wanted to put a quick video up on um, just to introduce myself and also the company and a little bit about what I want to do with the channel. So in terms of me, I'm Callum Thomas. Um, I used to work at a large regional fund manager in Sydney, Australia. I was in the economics and strategy team there, so working in the multi-asset group, um, focused on producing insights for the portfolio managers, helping them produce great outcomes for their clients. Um, and so that's pretty much what I'm doing here with the company as well. So very much uh, focus on producing good charts, good insights, uh, trying to produce a little bit of a unique angle and challenge the status quo a little bit, um, produce, bring you something that you probably haven't seen somewhere else. So, you know, I often sort of push that angle, um, make sure that um, that's quite clear to uh, people because, you know, there's a lot of resources out there, there's a lot of people saying a lot of stuff, and if you're just out there saying the same thing, then, you know, it's hard to argue for people to pay you to do that. So that's why I've, I've got this um, product here. So the key product for top-down charts is the weekly macro theme. So the focus of that is to come up each week with five different things, and that can be anything from the global top-down macro view, what's going on in the global economy, where, what are the major parts of the world doing, through to you know, views on particular markets, um, particular asset classes. So really the, 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 the key aim of that report is to, to come up with any particularly interesting investment ideas, any key risks to the portfolio, and, and generally the, the, the whole aim of the, the company itself, the aim of top-down charts, is to make the portfolio manager's job easier. And that's for bringing them, bringing them you know, what are the risks, what are the opportunities out there, and here goes some great charts to use. And so this, the, fo the focus, or really not the focus, the scope, is actually global. The scope of this company's um, research is global and across asset classes, so very much multi-asset focus. So very much, um, very very useful, very interesting for people who who are not you know, subject to the home bias, who, who want to look a little bit further afield to find out where the best opportunities and risks are. And you know, even if you do have a home bias, um, you know, there's a lot of risks out there that can sneak up on you if you if you're only looking at your own backyard. So that's pretty much um, a very brief insight into what we're doing here at Top Down Charts. So I'll talk a little, little bit about myself, a little bit more about myself and the company in later episodes, but just wanted to give a brief um, brief update, brief insight here. And you know, in terms of what I want to do with the channel, so there's a couple of things. So first is to add a little bit of extra insight. So when maybe if I put something on Twitter and it gets quite a bit of interest, I'll um, bring the chart up here and um, say what am I thinking, you know, why did I come across this one, or how, how I came across this one. Um, you know, add a little bit of extra colour to what's going on across, um, you know, Twitter, social media, um, and what I've posted on the blog. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to do is also provide a little bit of a preview into um, some of the paid products, so the weekly macro themes, um, just give you a little bit of a inside a little bit of a preview there, um, don't want to give the whole thing away, but you know, just, a, just a little hint of what's going on there. Um, and then of course, um, also wanted to do just a little bit of the personal side of things, so, you know, um, almost a video diary of uh, how, how, how I'm going with the company, um, and some of the ups and downs, and, and, and you know, a little bit of, um, a, little bit of, of a snapshot of what um, what kind of environment I'm operating in here. So, you know, they often call people like me the digital nomads um, or, or business nomads. You know, there's a lot of companies, a lot of businesses, jobs that you can do just about anywhere in the world now. And you know, I've chosen to locate myself pretty much in the middle of nowhere in Queenstown, New Zealand. It's my favorite place in the world. And, um, you know, you'll see some videos soon which will uh, make that pretty clear why. So, anyway, if you have any suggestions, um, comments, com compliments, complaints, um, please put them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe because this is just the start.